<laughs> hey guys, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here, and I wanted to tell you about a project that we're working on. If you're new to the channel, sit back from it, take a poke around at the other videos to see what I do. But I wanted to talk to you guys today about the Tesla battery pack trailer. You may have seen some preview pictures of it on my Instagram, but people are going crazy over this thing and want to see more of it. Now, as you may know, I build Teslas in my spare time. And in this video clip, here's a time lapse of me cutting a Tesla battery pack in half after I removed the battery modules that I needed for another project. I actually ended up giving this battery pack shell to a local guy that helps to support his family by recycling metals. And now when I had a second battery pack I no longer needed, I wanted to make sure I could somehow give this back to the community. I reached out to a few people that may have needed a battery pack shell in their cars due to some kind of damage they may have sustained and are no longer covered under Tesla's warranty, but I wasn't having much luck. So then my friend Lee at Advanced Technologies, who I work with, reached out on Facebook to see if anyone wanted this pack. Now here's where it gets interesting. He wasn't having much luck either, but someone said, why don't you turn it into a trailer? Lee and I thought to ourselves it's structurally sound and engineered to be a structural component of the car. Not only that, but it by itself holds over a thousand pounds of batteries, coolant, and other hardware. Lastly, Lee currently has this rinky-dink trailer that isn't anywhere near as cool as the Tesla trailer could be. So Lee wanted to try it out. He got some aluminum, cut notches in the battery pack, and went to town. You probably can't see it in these photos, but this trailer has the capability to tilt as well, which is also pretty cool. So well, how's it gonna roll and support the weight? Well, let's check out the axles and leaf springs. You know, so you can handle 3,500 pound uh, axle with a future brake upgrade if you wanted to. It seems wide. It is, I have to cut it back. I have to cut about almost a foot off of it. Okay. Now my vision is that if it's a Tesla trailer, it should at least look like a Tesla, right? So we're gonna use the 21 inch turbines from a Tesla Model S. Unfortunately, they don't quite line up, so we're gonna use wheel adapters to get them spot on. What do you think, two inch? Uh, so inch and a half. The next steps are to actually see what it looks like and to see if it can roll. So before wheel adapters, Lee had to cut the axle down to size and drill mounting points so the leaf springs could be installed and the trailer can actually support weight. So we put the doggo on top of it, threw some cheap trailer wheels on it, and brought it outside for some fresh air. Isn't that dog adorable? That's awesome. Yeah. First passenger. Okay, enough of the dog. I was too excited and actually put the Tesla rims over the trailer tires, and that's how big the Tesla 21-inch turbines are. They can fit over trailer rims and tires. So I'm gonna push it out to my car and see what it would look like with the Tesla pulling this trailer behind it. But before that, let's look at the underside. There are currently no battery modules in this pack. I know a lot of you are expecting that, but this is just an empty shell for now. Putting batteries in here would require lots of engineering hours and thought for safety purposes, so we won't be putting Tesla battery modules in here just yet. We have to finish building the trailer first and figure out how the batteries will be integrated afterwards. Bringing the trailer to the back, it looks damn good. When the trailer is leveled, it looks like it's supposed to be there. I'm a big fan of this look, but there is still work left to be done. Now the sides of the trailer are flat, so anything stored on there can fall off the sides easily. So Lee decided to weld two pieces of aluminum to the sides of the trailer so they can act as rails so things don't fall off the sides. We also started to put the first coat of silver paint in the trailer, so it's actually starting to look like something. Hey. Oh shit. There he goes. Rolling. <laughs> I love it. Going downhill probably isn't in my best interest, but whatever. Subscribe now. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready? Look at him go. All right, ready for the plate? I'm ready, man. I'm ready. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Oh, 
scrape in his life. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna wipe out. They go. That trailer wants to take off on you, doesn't it? Huh? That trailer wants to take off on you. <laughs> Okay, enough games. We got the wheel adapters in so we can mount the Tesla rims permanently on the trailer. And Lee realized himself, damn, this thing is actually pretty badass. So this is going to be replacing his old utility trailer that he uses to hold his old oil containers. Ironic, huh? A Tesla trailer carrying recycled oil containers. This is going to be an actual thing. He put fenders over the wheels and I'm going to find him a new set of rims and tires to use because I need to use these for my car. Underneath, you could see all the additional bracing he put under there. We'll also be looking into LED lighting for the trailer. And if the trailer needs LED lighting, it may also need a battery. So we're looking at into the possibility of either adding a 12 volt battery or possibly one Tesla battery modules to power the trailer lights. And who knows, maybe an inverter for 120 volt power and in the future, solar panels to keep this all in balance. Stay tuned for more updates on the trailer and stay tuned for more updates on Angela, my flood build. Sorry I haven't been giving more regular updates on it. I appreciate your patience. And please keep in mind, these are things I do in my spare time. I'm not a full-time YouTuber just yet, so please bear with me. I hope you like this one. If you have any other ideas or thoughts or questions on the trailer, post them in the comment section and let us know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all soon.